Karen Larson. And I'm Brian Sanders. An Owasso family's dog is fighting for his life tonight. A Rogers County Sheriff's deputy shot Bruno and then left him on the family's porch with a note. They left him bleeding. He was here for almost three hours bleeding. And it's just not fair. He's part of our family. Two Works For You reporter Darcy Jackson talked to Bruno's owners who feel the deputy overreacted. We do want to warn you, there are some graphic pictures in this story that's new at 10. Hi. Oh, yes. You don't have to stand up, buddy. I know it hurts you. Hi. A sweet reunion for 12-year-old Gabrielle Brock and the dog that's like a brother, Bruno. The last time she saw him, Bruno was laying on her porch, surrounded by blood. We didn't know what to do, so we called mom. There's a note on the door that said the cops shot him. Angie Lehman frantically called the Rogers County Sheriff's Office. Surveillance video shows a deputy pulling in there to investigate a shots fired call in the area. Lehman says Bruno, trained to protect her property, went toward the deputy. He got out of his car, and as he came around the side of your Escalade, your dog attacked him. I said, did he bite him? He said, well, he felt threatened. There's a lot of things that could be asked, you know, and why didn't he tase him? Why didn't he pepper spray him? You know, an officer's weapon uh, was the first thing that he drew. And uh, we don't have time to go through this, you know, use of force ladder. Bruno isn't out of the woods just yet. The bullet shattered his shoulder. Rogers County Sheriff Scott Walton says his deputy acted out of self-defense. It was a guarantee that they would be bitten if, you know, if they'd have tried to approach the animal or do anything else. But Bruno didn't bite anyone, and now Layman says she wants justice. It's just not fair. He's part of our family. I want them to pay to save my dog's life. That's what I want. And Gabrielle wants her brother back. Just, it's better with him.